Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, shoot in Unity in the shooting mechanic. And instead of using Raycast, you'll do it a whole different way. First, uh, you make your own um, prefab or a model, which is going to be the bullet. Hold on. So, guns. Yeah, so I got this bullet here, right? So you can tell my handgun inside the script. <sighs> um. So I'm going to have three game objects, which will be the bullet prefab, the casing prefab, the casing prefab. Um, you don't have to do this, but for like particles, if you wanted to like. Have like bullets eject out of the uh, gun. You can. So that's the casing prefab. And then your muzzle flash. And so. Oh, come on. And that's your muzzle flash. And just make, you make that a prefab. And then you have a barrel, barrel location. And that's where the uh, hand. That's where like the. um, That's where the bullet's gonna come from. Like the starting point. We're just gonna shoot outwards from it, and then you got a float, and then your shot power. Um, by default, you can set it to whatever you want. And on the start, if build location is equal to null, build location equals transform. So then it will just be the current transform. And then in the update section, if you uh put, if you hold down the mouse but not get mouse button down, just get mouse button. I want to set that to down because um, I just want you to just keep clicking it and, and make sure that for your gun you gotta recoil for it. Um, so got an anim animation controller. I'm all tangled up here. And so inside of your parameters, you have you have a trigger which is called fire. And once you get in. One, and then you make a transition to go from idle to shooting. And inside shooting, no exit time, and your condition would be the fire trigger. Now just go back after it shoots. So it has uh, exit time is true with no conditions. And yeah, that's it for the animation part. <gasps> so then you go over, um, so then you make a void shoot. And then it component audio source dot play. So um, it's gonna play the audio source. So it's gonna get a component which is the audio source. Make sure that your handgun has an audio source, which is your gunshot if you want at sound effects. And then game object temperature flash, and that's just gonna be a new variable. So, and then instantiate bullet prefab, the billet location dot position, and its billet location dot rotation, and I'll get its component rigid body dot add a force, billet location dot forward, multiplied by shot power. Yeah, and then it'll do temperature flash equals instantiate muzzle flash prefab, which is the uh, muzzle flash. And then build location dot position, build location dot rotation. And then your casing release. So, so your casing will have, um, so you have a prefab, which is going to be the model of the casing. This is just if you want there to be, um, like a board ejecting. So then, um, you just, uh, um, so then you make a prefab, and that's going to be the casing model, and then you add a particle system with it. And then, in, in your casing release, you'll have a new game object casing. Casing is going to be equals instantiate casing prefab, casing exit location dot position. And that's this. And make sure I have your transform for that. And then it's rotation as game object, and then casing dot get component rigid body, 
dot add force um 550 a uh, casing exit location dot position minus uh, casing exit location dot right multiplied by 0.3 f minus casing exit location dot up multiplied by 0.6 f float and after that column one float and after here add torque new vector three e uh, zero random dot range one hundred to five hundred random dot range ten to uh one thousand force mode dot impulse done there I guess that's it we just assign everything here uh, so I've got a casing yeah, your casing exit. Hold on. Yeah, so there's your casing exit. See? Slide your casing exit location. <clears throat> and so, yeah, you just assign that to your players. Oh, yeah, right. So, a new trick to remove clipping is make another camera. And that's... And then you make a new layer, which is going to be called Weapons. And on your Weapon camera, it's going to only show nothing uh, for your coin mass except for Weapons. And then you set your handgun or your Weapons to Weapons. So it's going to only show the Weapons. And so then you just put your Weapons inside the Weapon cam. Jeez. That was complicating. So yeah, there's that. Bye!